Do you want to save more money? Welcome to your guide to money saving wisdom. Saving money is not about cutting fun out of your life. It's about making smarter choices that reward you in the long run. Tiny tweaks in your daily routine can lead to substantial savings over time. It's like a game where the prize is financial freedom and peace of mind. So are you ready to transform your everyday habits into a wealth building strategy? Ready to dive into these practical money saving tips? Let's get started. Ever heard of the term shopping smart? It's not just a buzzword. It's a way of life that can help you save money and make the most out of your hard earned cash. At its core, shopping smart is about being strategic with your purchases. It's about making sure you're not spending more than you need to. So how do you do that? First, always compare prices. Whether you're shopping for groceries, clothing, or electronics, prices can vary dramatically from one store to another. You might find the same pair of jeans for half the price at a different store. And don't forget online retailers. They often have competitive prices and offer free shipping. So take your time, do your research, and find the best deal. Second, patience can be a virtue when it comes to shopping. Waiting for sales can lead to significant savings. Most stores have seasonal sales and holidays often bring about discounts. So if you can hold off on buying that new TV or designer handbag until it's on sale, you could save a pretty penny. Third, consider buying in bulk. This is particularly useful when shopping for non-perishable items like toilet paper, canned goods, or dry pasta. Buying in bulk usually means a lower cost per item and it can also save you time since you won't have to shop as often. But be careful to only buy what you'll use. Bulk items aren't a good deal if they end up in the trash. Lastly, beware of impulse purchases. We've all been there. You go in for milk and come out with a new blender. Impulse purchases can quickly add up and throw off your budget. One way to avoid this is to make a shopping list before you go to the store and stick to it. With these tips, you can turn your shopping trips into money-saving ventures. So next time you're about to buy something, remember to compare prices, wait for sales, consider buying in bulk, and avoid those pesky impulse purchases. Your wallet will thank you. What if you could save money on your bills by bundling your services? Let's dive into this possibility. Bundling services is a powerful strategy to save money, especially when it comes to your internet, cable, and phone services. Think about it. You're already paying for these services separately, right? So why not combine them into one package? Many service providers offer bundled packages for these services at a discounted price. This means you can enjoy the same services you love, but at a lower cost. Now, who wouldn't want that? Let's consider an example. Let's say you're currently paying $70 for your internet, $50 for your cable, and another $50 for your phone service. That's a total of $170 a month. Now, some providers offer a bundled package for all three services at a total cost of $120 per month. That's a saving of $50 each month. Over a year, this would amount to $600 in savings. That's quite a bit of money, isn't it? Of course, it's always important to read the fine print before you decide to bundle your services. Some providers may offer a discounted price for a limited time, after which the cost may increase. So make sure to understand the terms and conditions of your bundled package. But the benefits don't stop with just saving money. Bundling services also means you'll have only one bill to manage each month, making it simpler and more convenient. Plus, if you encounter any issues, you'll only have to deal with one customer service department. In conclusion, bundling services can be a smart move. It can save you money, simplify your bill payments, and make your life a little bit easier. So next time you're looking at your monthly expenses, consider whether bundling your services might be a good option for you. As you can see, bundling services is a great way to save money on your monthly bills. How many subscriptions do you have that you hardly use? This question might seem trivial at first, but when you stop to think about it, you might realize that you're paying for services you barely utilize. It's like having a gym membership, but never stepping foot inside the gym. And these subscriptions can really add up. Let's take a moment to consider the potential savings. Imagine you have three subscriptions, each costing you $15 a month. That's $45 every month or $540 a year spent on services you don't take full advantage of. That's a significant amount of money that could be saved just by canceling these unnecessary subscriptions. Now, identifying these subscriptions may seem like a daunting task, 
considering how easily we can lose track of them. But here's a simple method to help you out. Take a look at your bank statement. It will list all the recurring payments, giving you a clear picture of where your money is going each month. From there, you can decide which subscriptions are necessary and which ones you can do without. For example, let's say you have an online magazine subscription that you rarely read or a streaming service that you seldom use because you're always busy. These are prime examples of subscriptions that you can cancel to save money. Once you've identified the unnecessary subscriptions, the next step is canceling them. This usually involves logging into your account on the service's website or app and navigating to the subscription or membership settings. There, you should find an option to cancel or deactivate your subscription. If not, a quick search on the service's help center or a brief email to their customer service should guide you through the process. Remember, every dollar saved is a dollar earned, and those dollars can add up quickly when you start canceling unnecessary subscriptions. It's a simple but effective way to manage your money better. You'll be surprised at how much you can save by just paying for the services you actually use and enjoy. By canceling unnecessary subscriptions, you can save a significant amount of money each month. Here are some more money-saving tips you might not have thought of. First off, let's explore the kitchen. Cooking at home, as opposed to dining out or ordering takeout, can save you a significant chunk of change. Think about it. A single meal out for a family of four can easily cost $50 or more. Now imagine dining out several times a week, it really adds up. In contrast, that same $50 could be used to buy groceries that could feed your family for several days. Plus, cooking at home gives you control over the ingredients, allowing you to make healthier choices. Now let's move on to transportation. Have you ever considered using public transportation instead of driving? Public transit is usually a cheaper alternative, particularly if you live in a city with a robust transport network. You'll save on gas, maintenance, and parking fees, which can be exorbitant in some cities. Plus, it's a great way to reduce your carbon footprint. Of course, if public transportation isn't practical for you, consider carpooling or biking. Finally, let's think about your energy usage. Something as simple as turning off lights when not in use can save you money. It's easy to forget and leave a room without flicking the switch, but those little moments of forgetfulness can add up on your energy bill. The same goes for unplugging electronics when they're not in use. Many devices continue to draw power even when they're turned off, a phenomenon known as vampire energy. You might also consider switching to energy-efficient light bulbs. They might cost a bit more upfront, but they last longer and use less energy, saving you money in the long run. These tips may seem small, but they can lead to big savings over time. Remember, every little bit helps. The more you incorporate these habits into your daily life, the more you'll see the benefits in your wallet. So go ahead, give them a try. After all, who doesn't like having a little extra cash in their pocket? These tips may seem small, but they can lead to big savings over time. Let's do a quick recap of the money-saving tips we discussed. First up was shopping smart. It's not just about buying things at a lower price, but also about making conscious decisions. Evaluate the need, quality, and longevity of the items you wish to purchase. Next, we explored bundling services. Combining your utilities or insurance policies under one provider can often result in substantial savings. It's all about finding the right balance between convenience and cost-effectiveness. We then delved into canceling unnecessary subscriptions. We all have that one or two subscriptions that we don't really use. Be it a magazine, music streaming, or a gym membership, if it's not adding value to your life, it's time to let it go. And lastly, we discussed other money-saving tips. These included cooking at home, using public transportation, and even turning off the lights when not in use. These small changes can make a big difference in the long run. Remember, the key to saving money is consistency. It's about incorporating these habits into your daily routine and sticking to them. You don't have to do everything at once. Start small, pick one or two tips, and gradually add more as you get comfortable. So there you have it. A brief refresher on how to save your hard-earned money. Remember, every little bit helps when it comes to saving money. Start implementing these tips today and see how much you can save. Thank you for watching our video on money-saving tips. We hope you found these tips helpful and are ready to start making those small changes in your daily routine. As we always say, 
every penny saved is a penny earned. If you found these tips helpful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join the Cash Pro YouTube channel community. We have a lot more financial advice and tips to share with you, and we don't want you to miss a thing. Remember, smart money management starts with you. Start saving today. The journey to financial freedom is a marathon, not a sprint. So take the first step and let's run this race together. See you in the next video.